Hi, Elkhart family. It's Holly Meck with Instructional Tech. We're here to quickly talk about Seesaw messages. Here I am logged into Seesaw. You can access your Seesaw by going to seesaw.me and logging in with your Google credentials. Along the top bar, you can see I have a messages button. That button also has a notification button on it with a two. So I know I have two unread messages. Let's go ahead and jump into my messages by clicking the messages button. Along the left-hand side, you can see all of the old conversations that I've been a part of. These conversations can continue simply by selecting the conversation and then typing in the text box. It is important to know that there are two types of messages that you can send through Seesaw Messages. The first type is an announcement. Announcements allow for you to send a message to all of your parents or all of your students. And then when anyone replies to that conversation, it is private. A conversation allows for back and forth conversation from anyone who is included. So when we are creating conversations, those are only for family units. We do not include multiple families in one conversation. Let's go ahead and jump in and create an announcement. To create your own message, you're gonna go ahead and select the pencil icon and then choose announcement. From here, I can select who this announcement is going to. Do I want all the families that are in my third grade reading class? Or do I wanna add individual families? I can search for families in the search bar. Now remember, announcements allow for private replies only. So this is a great way to send out maybe your monthly newsletter or a reminder about an upcoming event. Next, if I wanted to create a conversation, again, I go to that same pencil, select new conversation. Remember, everyone who receives this can see each other's replies and have a conversation. So again, only one family unit should be included in a conversation. From here, you can add any combination of student, parent, or staff member. One new feature is that both announcements and conversations can now be scheduled. So if you were to create a message, you can now schedule that send. So it could send on whatever day or time you would like. This is a great way to make sure that you have things planned ahead of time so you're not always rushing the night before to schedule messages to send to parents. The last update I wanna show you about messages is setting office hours. Office hours allow for those notifications to not come through that you have messages until your office hours are open. To set your office hours, you're going to go ahead and select your name in the top left corner, go into your account settings by pushing the gear, and select account settings. From here, I'm gonna scroll down until I get to notifications and click on office hours. You can see my office hours are set from 6.30 a.m. to four. If I get a message outside of those times, it will hold off to send that notification until 6.30 the next morning. It is really easy to edit those office hours once they are in as well. So we push edit office hours and change the times. And that's the end of our reminders about Seesaw messages. If you take away one thing from this video, remember conversations have shared replies. Everyone can see everyone's responses, where announcements are a way that we can communicate with families together because they are private replies. I hope you found this helpful. Leave any questions in the comments below, like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.